What's up, cousins? I got a cool game I want to show you guys today. It's called Have a Nice Death. It was in early access for a couple years, and I played it a little bit on my Steam Deck, uh, but now it's out and available for everybody. It's a really cool uh, kind of Metroidvania-esque with a like a Dead cells -y kind of vibe, but you play as the Grim Reaper and uh, have a scythe and everything and multiple different weapons and skill trees. It's really cool. Uh, check it out, and I might be playing some more of it. Uh, thanks for coming by, and hope you enjoy the game. Thanks, cousins. Later. Yeah, buddy. That's better. Okay, so this game is Have a Nice Death. It's a roguelike Metroidvania, kind of like a, a Dead cells -y. And here, I'll start a new file. Just to kind of show it off, I've been playing it on my Steam Deck on the road a bunch. And when I first got my Steam Deck, this is one of the first things I played a bunch. And again, this is, um, it was an early access for a couple years. I haven't done my research fully on it, but it just recently came out in full release. Um, I can look it up here in a second, see how much it is on Steam. But it's kind of cool. It's, uh, the whole idea is your death, and he's been having to claim so many souls that he just kind of gets depressed. Uh, how do I like my Steam Deck? I love my Steam Deck. Um, I was a Switch uh, player for the longest time with all my portable gaming, and now that I've got the Steam Deck, it's just... I, there's so many early access titles, especially because I, I like a lot of these, like, indie, pixel graphic, just kind of smaller games um, that rarely get a release on consoles or mobile. And, uh, you know, I'm because even the Switch. And there was a bunch of games that I just, like... I was seeing streamers play, and I was like, oh, I want to play those and play it on the road. Um, so you get to play a lot of those like kind of kind of early access titles like this when it was still in early access. Uh, Crab Champions you can play on Stream Deck. On Steam Deck. Um, but also, and I mean, I have it um, set up for emulation so I can play all my uh, Nintendo games on it. So, I mean, because it is a Linux PC, so, I mean, it's just, like, there's so much you can do with it that, I mean, and it's a little clunky with, there's no real, like, app for Netflix or app for Hulu, but there's even, like, uh, workarounds on, uh, online that you can look up that you can just, uh, make a shortcut in the game mode to bring up a browser in game mode that auto links to Hulu or Netflix. And so you can kind of, there's workarounds, but I mean, it's, it's a Linux PC. So if you heard Linux PC and didn't think that there would be workarounds and weird, like things, I mean, that it's just what it is, but I just that. And I mean, cause you could just sit it down, hook it up with a dock. I have a like, um, portable keyboard mouse, like, uh, where is it? I have this guy that can just, and it's just got the mouse pad on it. Like, you can just Bluetooth that to it in desktop mode and either have it right in front of you or have it on um, the dock and have it hooked up to a TV and then just it's a computer it's insane okay so you got your jumps uh, okay let's see you can't just make it up as you go along you know we have a well established procedure what you have to do is... Oh, why is it? It's the CEO himself. 
Yeah, all hell's broken loose. Brad has decided to let all the souls in without proper inspection. All of our departments are overwhelmed, as am I. Ugh. Try to argue with your associate sorrows, please. Welcome back, Mr. CEO, and have a nice death. Uh -huh. So you got your dash, um, your basic scythe, and then uh, kind of like Dead Cells. Um, I got into this before I got into Dead Cells, actually, and I played this out a lot. Uh, ready for a warm-up? I want to hear those bones cracking. Chop, chop. All right, the kinks and the chop. Press A to jump on the ledge. Double jumps. Dash through those things, okay. Push an L on those, can go around. There's Claude Izuko. He missed his uh, leaving drinks, but don't let him go without a... Claude Isco. Okay. Awesome. We can go through doors. Cross. Uh oh. It's just saying jump and dash. Okay. You can go through those. It's been a little bit since I've played it, but I'm excited to play it now that it's back out of uh, early access. Uh, break this with your cloak. Okay, and so here's our other weapons. So it has 100 damage. So now that's on my Y button. So it's got that big hammer attack. And that doesn't take any mana. Okay. Would you believe it? That was wild. Again, the kind of muted but not art style of it. Um, I just think... I, it's, this, it's essentially Dead Cells, this game is. You know, but like... So you can, yeah. You do a frenzy once uh, your little meter. Can I, do I have my mouse on this? No, I don't. So up in the top left, uh, those are like heals that I can use. Oh, it looks like you're injured. Well, you injured me. Here's an anima. Left bumper to heal. Consume an anima to heal all your injuries. Injuries are the great out part of your HP. Make a note that, uh, make a note of that because it's important. What's more, you can only carry up to three at a time. But if your storage is full and you get a new one, there's no need to worry. That will merge into a golden anima. Uh, and that's even better at healing. A golden anima heals your injuries and restores your missing HP. Quite effective. Okay. Let's get after it. Harriet, excellent boss. You've really shaped up. Well done. Uh, let's not forget, though. So far, you've only trained with my friends. They've gone easy on you since they uh, owe me a coffee with a K, eh? Kofifi? Uh, so from now on, it's the real thing. Keep your wits about you. Got it? Yes, yes, yes. Very well. Next time, we're going to skip the tutorial, thank goodness. <laughs> Give it your all, boss. I will. So, if I remember right, so the big difference is uh, Dead Cells is more the biome based. Oh, I need to dash. Uh, this is more um, almost Slay the Spire mappy. You'll see at the end of uh, once I'm through this one.
And is there a map? There is a map. Oh, here's a little... C2 by any chance? Uh, this this one makes me it actually kind of makes me think of a mix between Rogue Legacy 2 and um, uh, Dead Cells. Okay, our Fury meters built up. So then at the end of each one, you kind of get here, and then it's choose the next floor. Um, this one we don't get a chance. Oh, dude, if you like these kind of Metroidvanias as well, like, this one's good, and the all-access, uh, you know, um, after early access, it's, it's still pretty damn good, but Rogue Legacy 2, I have put so many hours into that on my Xbox account. Uh, watch out, boss. Action? Reaction? It's me again. I thought I'd get rid of you. Uh, don't look so down, boss. You'll love what I'm about to tell you. You've earned a golden anima. Fantastic. Yeah, they give me heals, they restore, yada, yada, yada. Uh, yes. But you will have noticed that, uh, let's see, if you have three blue animas, the next one you collect will fuse with one of them to become golden. Pro tip, uh, a little press of the bumper consume a blue one, a long press to consume a golden one. Okay, that's good knowledge. Okay. I don't know what you are, but I will take you. Solary, I think, is the, like, um, the money. Oh, I keep trying to hit B to, to dodge. Pulls up missing HP with injuries. So, uh, we have an anima to heal if we need to. Ah, oh, but we didn't need to. Because we got that one. Here, we can light tap to do that. That didn't heal that much. Anything past here? Ooh! What, it keeps going? Oh, there's another one. Mr. O'Shea, you finally... Work at Death Incorporated goes on, with or without you. I'll spare you my own thoughts on this matter. Your absence hasn't stopped the sorrows from going above and beyond. We've got our work cut out. Curses, for example, if you can remember. Assaulting an employee costs the company money, minions too, when it comes to it. Curses can help with that. Look. Okay, so that's our, like, in-run kind of tech tree. Cloak Swish applies an effect while launching a cloak attack. 
So when I do a regular attack, it does an axe as well. Gain 10 max HP. Or spells deal 4 more damage. I think we're going to do this axe. This cloak. Oh, that means... Oh yeah, I forgot I can charge things. What's the charge on? Okay. So it's when I do that move, it does an axe. Any of my cloak moves are my other two moves. Okay. Solar redeposit. This is the first run, so it's like, you don't even get decisions. You're probably going to die. Don't forget, boss, each weapon or spell has a different frenzy. Stop repeating everything, Harriet. It's really getting on my nerves. If I was... <laughs> I was there for the tutorial, remember? You say that, but you don't always listen. Ain't that the truth? turned already. I'm gonna have to use that anima. Oh, long distance shot. At least we got that heal at the start of that room. Trine? I don't know if I've heard of that. What kind of game is that? So eventually you have like multiple, like two, three choices on path, but. This game, um, once I do die, uh, you'll see the like kind of meta progression of it. Like, you have to buy stuff between runs to kind of help everything out. What'd you say? Uh, so it looks like this, except a multiplayer game, up to three players, small storyline. I think. You, uh, ooh, yeah, dude. And, um, if you ever want to, you should. And you're in town come over and do one of the couch co-ops. Oh, there we go. We should do like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle like, um, like arcade game, arcade style one. Four player or something if we get four people together for it. Equipment store? My first choice. 
More health or equipment? We want equipment. Oh yeah, dude. I still haven't played Casual Crashers. I'll have to look that up. Trying. I'll remember that. Remind me to next time I see you, and I'll let you know. If I haven't seen it by then, uh, we'll like immediately look it up while I'm standing with you. Those books are good shots. Temporarily gain life steal. Increase max HP. just auto refills or maybe that takes 15 mana yeah you've, you've told me good things about ca about castle crashers and I, I've watched a I think I've watched a couple pre uh, like trailers for it Let's see I can sell they made an awful mess up there, haven't they? Take some guts to get involved, I'll say that much. Anyways, perhaps you'd like to browse my wares as a little distraction. Let's see what we got. A Murray of Crows. A murder of crows loops right in front of you. Uh, and the thing is, summons the Crow King who dives to cover you. Fills up missing HP with injuries. Okay. What is there something else over here? Did you? My humblest apologies. I didn't know the tutorial procedure had changed. It was degrading for you. <laughs> yes, but I'm sure if a leotard is the best solution here. <laughs> uh, it's very good of you to take it in such good humor, though. Uh, do I want any of that? Even? We already have injuries full. Unless we want to get that. We don't have enough. Uh, well, a note from Osha. How delightful. It contains one curse. We could get that. Cloak deals 10 bonus damage. Retaliate. Uh, so, like, Thorns grants five defense for ten seconds. Fetch Pit Book. Sorrow. Your Weasley Associates, your worst opponents. Termination. Triggers an effect upon killing an enemy. So, grants you extra meat re mana regen when you kill an enemy. Let's do that and try to use that new... Uh, uh, fireball we got. Oh, upgrade store. Oh, we don't have any of those pyramid things. Hey, security station. Here's the boss. Let's see if we can get him on the first run. Most roguelikes like this, it's usually pretty hard on the first run. Boss, before your uh, interview with Brad, you have uh, to hear me out. It's very important. Surely you noticed that when you eliminated certain minions, you collected an anima orb. Yes, animas healed my injuries, blah, blah, blah. I'm not completely senile yet. Hey, don't take it the wrong way, please. We're just covering our bases. As we were saying, animas heal your injuries. And injuries are the grayed out part of your HP, you see. 
Thanks, Harriet. I got it. I can handle it from here. As you wish, the ball is in your court, boss. Okay. Hi, Brad. Here we go. What the hell is happening here, Brad? Where did all these souls come from? What is it to you? Here you are anyway, with your mummified Booma face. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a big hit. that anima soon, I think. <laughs> Used my anima. It said it held that for misogyny. Wait. Allow that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so at the end of a run like that, I get ingots that I earned. You level up, so now I start the game with the basic anima. Afterlife. So that that's like stats from the last run. Let's see. Oh. Let's crank the thermometer up to ten. Come on, let's break in your new weight room. So this is a training area. Scythe cloak weapon or even a spell from Joe. You can try it out. Okay, we don't need that right now. Pump Quinn. Oh, so boss, I'm so pleased to see you. And you've got your pit book with you. Isn't it adorable? Didn't you know your pit book notes everything down for you? Just press and you're done. It really is very cute, but I uh, don't really like the way it's looking at me. Oh, so it's talking. Our employee handbook, or...? Okay. <laughs> is this Fallout? No. <laughs> but look, like, this is like the Souls style, like, look at everything you've unlocked or not. Like, uh, Souls has all the, uh, like, uh, bottles hanging and everything. Upgrade tree. Start the game with a basic anima. Permanently unlocks bleed curses. Relaxation rooms may appear. I think that's healing. Unlocks an elevator that takes you straight to Brad. Permanently unlocks periodic effect curses. And look, it just like goes to 20 on that. Start the game with five curse rerolls. Okay. What's this? And my axe. So you have to find them and then they'll start showing up again. 
Good morning or evening or whatever, it's not important. The sorrows are out of control. Quotas have risen astronomically. I'll spare you the details. You got a few ingots to spend? Let's do this real quick before I kick the bucket. Oh, and how's you... How's you, how's the family, how's life? So this is the kind of cool thing that I like about this game. So each of the upgrades, and you can look at food upgrades, contract upgrades, as well as just weapon ones, but like for Shakespeare, um, kill, so if it was, if you hadn't killed any enemies, it would probably be 50 or 100. Let's see, 95% discount, so it was probably, yeah. But, because you have to pay at least one. But the more you kill, or the more you do this whatever it is, so like, kill two, uh, 250 enemies with a hammer weapon, or kill that many enemies, kill three Gordon Grimes, um, and each one you do gets you a third discount. So you can go ahead and buy something super early for expensive, or you can see, say, oh, I really want this, so I'm going to at least try, so like, I want Slaymore, but I'm, I don't want to pay the 66, I want to kill the other like 70 enemies and pay only 33 for it, you know? So it's it's kind of cool. Um, the Shakespeare, since it's one, let's get that. Everything's a hundred or two fifty. Kill sweet tarts, petrols. Barnaby Proudfoot. Kill Brad five times for Boulder Rain. Bees. That sounds fun. Sacrifix. Kill Candace three times. Right? It's it is nice to have like the options. And I mean, wow, now that they've they're out of early access, like, there's so much more in here. Holy cow. Damn. Okay. So now the Shakespeare is available. Oh, and difficulty. Look at this. Had a surprise, Mr. CEO, sir. While you were taking care of the sorrows, I was dealing with the meetings you put on hold. I'm delighted to announce that Mrs. Muriel, the Reverend, has returned to work. Oh, yes, that Muriel. Good grief. Uh, if I've understood it correctly, it's an evolving pictorial sequence. A little unsettling at first glance. But note the contrast between the richness of the sculptured altar and the simplicity of this barely scribbled upon post-it. <laughs> Fascinating. That's hilarious. Uh, so, like, the difficulty... Like, the easy is self-fulfillment. You start it with extra animas and sorrows and, uh... Everybody has minus 25%. But then the next difficult, the medium or normal difficulty is imminent breakdown. And then you can unlock more. EA, not the company. Let's skip the small talk, shall we? In accordance with Bulletin B66, you may not access the elevator until you sign a form. Don't make that face. Rules are rules, so let's go. So this is the other thing. So at the start of a run, you can pick Joe's new stuff, which usually shows up when you buy something new. So that means you can auto-start the run with that one. Or... Like, it's all different ones, so this agreement is now get five extra mo 50 extra money, and if you kill 30 enemies without taking damage, you don't lose... Oh, so, if you kill 30 enemies without taking damage, nothing happens, but and you get the money, 
if you don't kill 30 enemies without taking damage, you still got the money, but you take 20 more damage. Eh. And we're out of 65 HP. Let's just take our new thing. Oh, early access? No, this is, uh, I think it's just got out of early access. I think? I think so? If not, it's super close to getting out of early access, but I'm pretty sure it's out. I'll explain it to you one more time, Pump. So listen up. A prismium... Prismium... Prismium. Prismium. Okay. A prismium is a free pass. You can exchange it for anything in the company, no matter what it costs. Let's say that Mark doesn't have an amazing item you want. Well, your prismium lets you expand his shop with a bigger selection. I'll add an asterisk to my report. It's great! You can buy anything you want with it. <laughs> okay. Let's get in the run. <laughs> I gotta allow it. Just a sec. Oh, it sucks that it keeps. I mean, and that is one thing with Dead Cells. It's like, it's definitely one of those games, the more you play it, the more you just, like, get so in tune with how the enemies move. Increases max mana by 10. Okay, glad I looked at my map. Like, because when I was really playing Dead Cells a bunch, by the end of it, like, it just felt kind of easy, almost. Uh, burning effect? Let's take that. But it's more that it's just, like, you're so in tune with the movements and the muscle memory of it. Hazardous floor or some equipment? Hmm... Let's get some equipment. Let's get another a weapon. Hey, little Rita. Oh, what? He did his spin move. What? That was some stupid damage. Oh, they take fall damage too? Okay. Fills up missing HP with injuries, okay. If there was something up there, I can't get back to it. Oh, and I fell down here too, okay. Fury's filled up, at least. Oh. Ooh. 
Okay, we made it back over. I don't think I can get up on top of there. No. Rocket launcher. Our shells over a very great distance. Oh, I haven't even used my new guy. So I have a spear. My rocket launcher is... Oof. Uh. Temporary gain lifesteal. Oh, there's nobody down there. Oh. Uh, a mini boss or let's get some HP and stuff. Oh, I still have a little bit of life steal. Oh, that was a bigger fall than I thought it was going to be. mana. Ah. Ah. Whoa. That rocket launcher is pretty sick. Oh, but that... Is fucking devastating though. 30 pure heal. That pure heal helped out. HP by 10. Okay. Uh, let's go to a vault. We just got some extra equipment. We're full on our equipment right now. We got a nice amount of solary up there. Is so dope. 
I think it was a legendary. Curse reroll. Nice. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Keep trying to dodge with B. And B is my rocket launcher right now. defense. down here. Pure heal. Nice. Gain life steal. Okay, a shot before the boss. See if we could beat Brad this time. We could sell one, but I don't think so. Poison mist, a light, an extra healing orb charge, or a curse. We have curse reroll. 75, 90. We could do both. Yeah, let's get that. And then get a curse. And we can re-roll it if we want. Gain retrain. Deals bonus damage by changing weapons in the middle of a combo. Okay. Permanently adds plus one damage upon consuming an anima. But we have to take a penalty if we do. Or max mana. I think let's take... Uh, uh, let's re-roll, actually. We have to re-roll. Oh, it's re-roll just that one. The scythe deals 10 extra bonus damage. We use the scythe a bunch. So that's, that's good future knowledge. It only re-rolls the one you're hovering over. It doesn't re-roll all of them. And we're at Brad. Let's use that rocket launcher. And then win or lose, I'm probably gonna get off after this and... Yeah, but... Oh, dude, she's alright. We'll go outside after this. Come on, Brad. Subdue the pyro ghosts. Subdue the staff. Subdue the gargoyle who's making a fool of me. You act like you're overworked and not right in the head. But hey, we all know you're a compulsive liar. Oh, I wonder if those fall. They do. Oh, that does so much good damage. made Brad look like. Oof. No, seriously, boss. I didn't mean it like that. I'll get back to work soon, I promise. No, get back to work right now. No compromises. Breathe. Everything will be okay. <laughs> oh. 
Is it phase two? No. <laughs> it's just Brad going back to work. What do we got here? Increase max HP by 20. I'll do that. Uh, gain 5% chance of dealing pierce. Cloak's cooldown reduced by 15. Or termination killing stuff gets you 40% mana regen. Uh, well, we're, we're wanting to end this not too bad, so let's take one of these that has the penalty. Let's see what that does. Uh, let's go piercing. What's our penalties? Angry heartbreakers. Heartbreakers, which is one of the enemies, are more dangerous. Or splurites inflict poison. The fact that I don't know what either of those are. Uh, let's go heartbreakers. <laughs> And let's go on. So we made progress at least so far tonight. We beat Brad. Got our retribution. Let's see. So between uh, groups, so like after a boss. Let's see. Be very careful when taking your lunch break. Oh, we got a lunch break now. I think someone is shamelessly raiding the fridge. Are you saying that sometimes your lunch disappears? <laughs> Uh, well, sure doesn't. When the fridge is empty, that's it. And no poor sap is going to keep stocking it up. Brad ain't nobody indeed. Uh, nobody thinks you're a sap, Patrick. Come on. So what's in here? Lulu's lychees. Do they look like lychees to you? Heals injuries. Oh, we don't even need that, but... Uh, we can buy... Anima for 10. We're full on Anima right now. Hang on, boss. Is that really you? Wow, what a bold new look. I remember you being taller and scarier. This is definitely, uh, different. I imagine you haven't shown much interest in the management's reports, but there have been some alarming goings-on recently. For example, the Sorrows have now decided to ignore your old rules and are simply doing as they please. All departments are feeling the strain. Another week in hell, so to speak. I mean, we are in hell. Uh, so you can spend an anima to get something. Uh, I don't know if we want to spend our animas. Let's just go on. Okay, so do we want to go to a pollution department? Uh, it automatically upgrades our next green curse. Or toxic food processing. Um, those heart things are probably heartburny in that food processing, so I'm gonna go pollution. That's my logic behind it. I don't even know the enemies, really. So, let's see. Boss, welcome to the industrial pollution department. Uh, ooh, it smells like a sewer in here. Uh, Mr. Grimes has increased the minion's work pace by at least 89%. I scheduled a meeting between the two of you, but, uh... <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, I stepped in Boombo oil again. Okay. So this is our second biome. Ooh. Oh, those guys hurt. Those charge, okay, noted. HR office or an intriguing floor. Let's go to HR.
What's HR gotta say? Stop interrupting and listening to the whole explanation. Nothing. It's impossible for me to take anything you're saying seriously. You're claiming that animas are well engineered enough to heal and all that, but that's not all. You could also use them to reveal hidden rooms in the building. Oh, really? Get your head out of your post-its, why don't you? For death's sake, Jerry, Uncle, uh, has been overseeing an anima project since the beginning. It's a new feature we've been working on together. Okay, that's new. Uh, there we go. What a surprise. You're pulling rank again. Secret rooms. You've been watching too much Crystal Amaze. Secret rooms are filled with rare and precious items. Prismiums, things to increase your HP or mana. Have a good route around and see how many you can find. You need to consume an anima to burst burst to reveal the location of a secret room. So they told us about it, so there's probably one on this floor. Oh, wow. I'm gonna use one anima. chance of dealing Pierce. Yeah, let's keep going hard on that. But, when people attack you, it consumes 100 mana. Smokers spread white hot ash. Okay. Still looking for the potential of a secret room. Is that? No. I guess there wasn't a secret room. I don't know where it would be unless it's against one of those walls. We'll keep looking out. Cloak store or a mini boss. Let's go for the mini boss. fucking animas. That's on me, though. Okay, here's our mini-boss. Oh. 
that was close. We're on three HP. <laughs> and gonna heal a little bit of that. <laughs> Scythe deals extra damage. Let's do that. Go to a vault. <laughs> Might have to use our other anima right away. We're probably gonna die soon, but let's see. Give us some health. Hey, that was just vaulting it. Whoa. Other anima. Okay. Hey, okay, get an anima back. Of ingots for outside progression. Anima deposit. Yeah, let's get some health. <laughs> if we're gonna even try to get to the second boss, we're gonna need some health. the death. Rest in paperwork. Okay. Got some extra ingots. Permanently unlocks bleed curses. Relaxation rooms can appear. And let's see here. And we're back. Welcome to the afterlife. Sucked in a bit. Uh, let's see. So you're death. Yeah. It's just saying that you have all that shit. Let's see. What can I buy? Slaymore is now only five ingots. We can get that. World Dagger. Earn money to make it cheaper. It's only 20. We can get that, maybe. Dirty Dagger. That'll get cheaper quicker. Uh, let's see. That hit the mark. Is only almost 500 ganglion anything else cheap not really um we can get world dagger with a hammer weapon dark talons it's only 50 let's get that too we got a lot of money. Okay, but yeah. So I'll probably play this on stream again. Uh, this one's a lot of fun. But uh, thanks for hanging out and hanging around. Uh, but yeah, uh, we got we did we did some work tonight. We got a defect win and uh, played some of this. So awesome, y'all. Well, thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.